I'm sure St. Kitts, you didn't expect to come here and get a medal, but you delivered. First, you just got to give God thanks, you know. Without him, nothing is possible. I know everybody back home is like, we are very proud of us. You know, we just want to thank everybody that's been supporting us to the past year. We came and we delivered. We just want to thank. Couldn't done it without these guys right here. Been through a lot, you know, but we overcame. We overcame. No one believe in us. We believe in each other. Two Country years, did. We've been working on this. Two years. Coming. We came from 40 point, 40 point oh. Now we are 30, 38 four. Just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Tim Collins, how do you do this? How do you do this? <laughs> Man, you know, as I say, I just went back to the bottom of the chain and woke myself up. And it's been 1995 since St. Kitts and Nevis had a team in the World Championships. And to be in the top 16 and then in the top three in the world, man, it, it's amazing. And very proud of my team and been working very hard and long on a really team and I'm very happy to see this. And I think when I do retire, I'm going to retire a happy man see that, you know, I've been there and done that and could walk away from the sport, given faith that these guys will carry on the legacy of track and field in St. Kitts and Nevis. Entering the finals, St. Kitts never looked like they were going to get a medal. Uh, how did you speak to the guys to ensure that they kept focused to, and, and, and talk to them about trying to win this medal? Well, one of the things I did, you know, Adidas was giving away a galaxy pad for all the medal winners. And I brought it to the woman, I was showing off and telling them if you want one, you don't have to buy it, you just have to win it. And, you know, it's just because some things are better earned than bought. And, you know, when you come out here as a person, we not being the, the favourites, I think it's a great thing for us, there's no pressure. And the guys came out and executed a great race and I'm very happy and proud. And, you know, we're going to go get a medal tonight and it's going to be a while before they actually realise what's going on. Congrats. Thank you very much. Peters, that shows that Merger has been disqualified, having taken the bronze medal. I suddenly think this is worth looking at again. Harry Aikens are really, with Marlon Devonish, the incoming runner, eventually throwing the baton at the Briton. So Aikens are really obviously went off too early. The American, Walter Dix, beginning to look back, thinking, where on earth? is that baton, but nobody could have expected such a wonderful run by four Jamaicans who just ran out of their skin already down the home straight. Usain Bolt was looking at the giant screen. 37-04. To not come up with a medal having gone in the fastest time, What's your reaction? Oh, it's bitter for us um, and for our team because last two years we had problems um, handling the stick. And I think that this year we try to solve that problem and make sure that um, we had the stick and get around very well. It's just, a, it's just a fact that we collided with another team going to 30 exchange zone and we definitely were in contention for a medal. Did the fact that Usain Bolt was, was an anchor, do you think the fact that Usain Bolt was an anchor would have probably cause some kind of nervousness among your team members? I don't think it was even nervousness among our team members because we came through. Um, it's just the fact that he got hit by Great Britain. And he took a real groin shot and um, it put him down. If any man knows a groin shot is going to put you down, make you stand still. So um, I think they had a value effort by him to get the stick around and it just came a little short. Of course, the Jamaicans come out with a new world record, 37-04. Your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, they're a great team. They're great athletes. They've, they've shown it time and time again. Um, I think that at that point in time, we would definitely help them to push them through the zones and um, break a world record. Congrats and, 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 well, not congrats, but, you know, tough luck. Tough luck. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Ten medals each. The women VC gets gold to make three gold medals there for 11, and the women's four by one a silver to make 11 as well. So the top event for Jamaica in the World Championships, women's 200, with VC taking gold to bring to 11 medals total. Yeah, but now we don't want to miss this also. The, um, For your time done. Yo, big up Sherwood content. Big up people from the Caxi. Big up Bruce, you understand? Jamaica come and say, oh. Uh, big up Mobie. Big up Bogel Top. Real people. All the time. Big up my family. Uh, you're, saying, uh, you're saying a world record, first time you're anchoring the team. Based on how the team ran in the heat, did you all expect the world record? For me, yeah. For me, we, we all have been under, under 10 seconds, so it wasn't a surprise that we ran a world record. If we just ran a perfect race, got the baton around, we, we, we were set for great things. So for me, I was just happy. When I watched the first three weeks, I was like, these guys are really running. So I decided that I was going to run right through the line. 
No, you, you would have missed out on a gold in the 100 meters, but to come out with two gold medals, what, what, what's the feeling? It's a great feeling. It's a wonderful feeling for me, uh, especially to finish the, champ the championship on this note. It was a wonderful feeling, definitely. Johan Blake, your second gold of the championship and, and, and the world record. How do you react to that? Well, definitely um, it's a wonderful feeling knowing that I'm um, winning the 100 meter world champion and also getting a second gold medal. Um, I just want to thank the guys. We have a nice chemistry going out there um, in the finals and we just carry on the button safe and that's what we did and get the gold. Michael, your second world record team, how do you feel? I mean, I, I feel awesome. It's been an up and down championship for me. Uh, got, didn't, didn't compete very well. I got a cramp in the 100 meters. So, you know, you have to just bounce back. We came out here. You know, we know that we had a, you know, we had the guys capable of running very fast. So it was just about having some fun and just executing. And we pretty much did that and came out to the gold medal and the world record. Were you satisfied with the start that you gave the team? Yeah, I'm satisfied with the start. Um, the, the key thing is just hand over the button safe. So I want to thank God for guiding us throughout the race. A world record, second time on the team. <laughs> How does it feel? Well, it feels great to always be a part of the world record team. Hopefully, we put it somewhere where it's safe next time. All right. Congratulations, y'all. Any word, final word to Jamaica? Just want to say, big up Bogil, Montego Bay, to the world. We just want um, to big up all Jamaicans. Thanks for the support, and we'll continue to do you proud. Just want to big up Jamaica, Mandibla, special hello to you, and um, Banana Ground, big up on yourself. Why? What me I got to say now? Well, I think, this is what I said, Jamaica. I know they look for great things from me, and I did it. You understand? Who are chasing? Why you leave me alone? You understand? But I must fast start now the 200. Leave me alone. You understand? But you must big up the world of Jamaica. Thanks for the support. I felt all the love. You understand? After the pick, I felt all the love. So thanks for the support, and I'll continue doing great things. And to the world, I say, you understand? And that I say too. Oh. <laughs>